Hey guys, right now is about 24 hours after the reloaded update hit Summoner's War. In this video, I want to talk about my honest feedback, my thought, my opinion about the update. And you can also do the same by leaving the comment section down below because I think they are improving the update according to your feedback as well. Look at this. We have this monster evolution cost improvement notice because you guys were loud enough that they have to change it almost less than wait it's actually less than 24 hours after the update hit the game because i guess they didn't have enough feedback internally so the actual player base were very frustrated with the material cost for six starring or powering up monster so this entire process was made so much easier but it also became much more expensive compared to before and that is just the worst thing for the majority of the player base for me i don't really care too much i don't make six star that much and i have so much material lying around gathering dust so to me this is amazing but to you guys the casual player the early mid game player who are struggling with mana with unknown scroll with monster material you guys got hit really really hard because this just became so much more expensive even if you want to do it manually because the EXP required to 6 star to, to max level these monsters became so much more expensive. Even though it became so much quicker for those who have the material lying around. So they hurt you and they're going to make it cheaper in the next update. So if you have any more complaint, feedback about the update, let them know. Okay, the comment section, the game review on the app store, the Reddit, the forum, anywhere. Let them know about your frustration. So let's take a look at all the major new content of the update. First, we have the new Giants and Dragon Abyss. And we can all agree that the drop rate for these are garbage, okay? It is literally the same drop rate as Dragon's B12 back in the day. You see majority of the drops are blue runes and material, but this dungeon is so much harder compared to the dragons b12 back then and then you cannot use the team that you used before you have to build new teams and it's so much harder to do and the intangible rune drop from this is like nowhere to be seen okay it, it's just unbelievable how how rare intangible rune is and how common rare rune is so i've been farming the dungeon since yesterday while trying to make teams so i've been farming constantly and i have dropped i think two intangible rune I saw like two more and that is about it. I intended to keep all the intangible rune so I can see how often I get these rune. But then I, I just don't see any. It's, it's crazy. Have anyone gotten a purple or legendary intangible rune? And we don't even talk about the quality just yet. My first one is looking pretty good, guys. We have 16 speed blue rune quality. Absolutely loving it. And there's so many problems with this intangible rune thing. For veteran player, it's going to take forever with this current rate to get one usable intangible, like maybe triple roll into certain stat to complete that vial or will or despair set that you really want. So it's going to be a decent rune. And you can't reap it. And after you manage to get a good intangible from Abyss, you have to go and farm the grinds from R5, and then you go and farm the enchant from one of the beasts as well. So there are three different places to farm to complete this rune, so it's going to be even harder to get like an ancient wheel from this, because in here, at least you're only farming one dungeon to get a proper ancient will or ancient despair. And we all know how rare these, these runes come by, okay? It takes forever to get a decent ancient whatever rune that you are looking for. So with the current drop rate for the intangible rune in the new Abyss dungeon, is it is it a really good new fun thing that we should really strive to farm for? I just can't comprehend. So once again, this reminds me of TOA Hell when it first came out. It was way too difficult for a very shitty reward. And the same goes for the Giants. And what did they do with TOA Hell? They actually make it so much easier compared to when it first came out. At least they made like the first three or four stages much easier so you can get some of the reward easily. So I really think they have to improve the drop rate of the Abyss stages. If we are doing a bit hard for a minute to two minutes, then it shouldn't drop blue runes anymore. It just shouldn't drop blue rune anymore. If there are blue rune in this dungeon, it should be blue intangible only. Okay. It should be dropping purple only because 
it takes way too long to farm this crap. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should be happy about this, but Jara is just like incredible for for Giants Abyss. Okay, my my team is great. I I love it, but I also hate the fact that if you guys, the normal people who use Lauren, will just suffer because the boss will absolutely destroy you, and then you have to use like a slow ass team, and your farming is gonna suck so bad. You're gonna hate it, and you're gonna hate farming even more, and then. If you hate farming in this game, you're just going to hate the game in general because that's what you do almost every day. And I can't tell you to just farm more because I have the privilege to farm so fast and you hate your farming and there's nothing I can do about it because the best unit are not just available to you. And then we have this dungeon. It's not that hard. Many people can farm it with free to play team, no problem. But the runes you're going to get is not the most amazing, okay? I would not recommend anyone who is still trying to progress in the game to farm this dungeon because you need Violent or Swift or Despair or Rage or Vampire so much more than getting Seal Rune. Seal Runes are like end game PvP stuff, okay? You don't really need it. You don't need to seal any rune to conquer PvE first, but you do need your stat, your Violence, your Swift, your Despair. So, this will not be farmed by majority of the player base, okay? Because majority of the player base are still casual player who are trying to progress in the game. You can farm like maybe one seal or two seal set and then you get out of here because you, you really need to farm the other things if you want to progress in the game. The artifact farming is way better. So right now I'm back at farming artifact because I don't want to farm abyss. It's a waste of time because the drop rate is just not good enough and it takes forever to farm abyss. So I'm back to farming artifact because deciding which artifact to keep or sell is so much easier and you can see the max potential of an artifact pretty much immediately so i just got a brand new artifact for my wind panda right here and it doesn't cost me much time so farming artifact is actually the most cost effective thing to do right now in terms of energy time and effort because you don't have to make like any new crazy team for this so this is looking really, really amazing. But there's another problem. This costs way too much mana for some reason. I thought it's gonna cost a little bit less, but this costs way too much mana. For once again, casual player, like mid game player, they don't have like hundred a million of mana like me or other end game player who are probably stocking like a billion mana. To them, a hundred thousand is like a drop in a bucket of water. It doesn't really matter. But to majority of player, I think this is way too expensive, okay? So I think you can make this a little bit cheaper. That'd be very nice, but artifact farming right now is probably the best thing I got after the update together with the rune plus 15. That is really amazing as well. And then there is the change to this content as well. So R5 in the middle to farm grindstone. You now can get grindstone from all the other party stat runes as well, like determination or fight which will dilute the overall grind a little bit, but they take the enchant stone out. So in theory, we thought it's going to be a bit easier to get that specific violent grind that we actually want, but somebody did the math on Reddit, and it is actually a little bit harder to get the exact grind that you want, even though you're only getting grinds right now. So that's kind of annoying because realistically, we only want grind for a couple of different runes anyway. And then farming the beast is really shit because they take so long every single beast run is like a minute plus to two minute and there's really no way to make it faster because the boss is tanky there are many stages and the animation take forever and then even if you get like five to eight to nine million damage you are still getting mostly blue drop which is like garbage in most people's eyes as well because five to nine percent from a blue drop is just not good okay so they said that in the past they were scaling the drop with the score but then people realize it's not really that and not everyone can just get 10 million or 20 million damage so if you're doing sub 10 million damage most of the stuff you get are still blue anyway so that is just like not good because <laughs> And then farming the beast really doesn't progress you anywhere else except for that one gem that you are looking for. So you are pausing progression in a very slow farming content as well. And that is just like, ugh, that is just not good, man. I wish they would make farming this thing like a minute to a minute 10. And then please, please increase the drop rate according to the score accordingly like how you mentioned and not slightly enhance the drop rate because it is not like please do something about 
farming the beast because it sucks so bad getting mostly blue and you wouldn't you just waste a lot of time in here. Personally, I thought this update was supposed to make farming a bit more fun, more exciting, more team building, and maybe reload our passion for summoners war, but they somehow make farming more complicated and not fun and not really worth your time and takes longer. Like who wants to spend longer just farming? That is just like the worst thing ever. And when I try to make new team for the new dungeon, I get immediately reminded of how shitty the AI in this game is and why Dart Team or Shikaru is so popular because it doesn't rely on AI that much. But every other unit in the game just have like garbage AI. But some of them happen to have good AI, which means they can choose which one to have good AI. They are capable of making the unit only use that skill when it's available. But somehow the other unit, just, the other unit just not going to use that skill. And every other turn-based game that I play that comes out recently allow you to set up the AI according to how you want. Some are a bit simpler, some are more complicated, but they have some sort of degree of control over how the AI perform in the farming dungeon. And I think that will open up so much more variety in how you want to set up your team farm and what kind of unit you want to use because there are so many good damage dealers in this game, so many good setup units in the game that are great for the dungeon, but then you use them and then the AI is like garbage and like you can't use them even though the skill makes sense, the kit makes sense, the buff debuff they bring are great, but they just, they, they, they spam their default attack and it's just like, oh, like come on, fix or give us the the option to choose how the AI perform in, in the dungeon. <laughs> Making team is like so bad because the AI is garbage in so many units that are supposed to be really, really good for these dungeons. I think one of the most positive things I can think about this update is I get to use this bad boy again. And he's actually relevant in the new dungeon. And I think he's going to be relevant when the Abyss stage of the new dungeon come out as well because he's just great. And I really like all unit shine after such a long time, okay? He's probably one of the oldest unit in the game and now he is relevant again. And that, that is just, I put a smile to my face for sure. In short, I'm really disappointed with how they roll out the Abyss level dungeon. It's just terrible in my opinion. And I wish they do something about it soon because I, I don't know guys. I, I wish I'd do something about it, like please. I really wanna like new update and the game and just have fun in general and be positive but it's kind of hard.